everyone and welcome to another a thousand ways tutorial in this video I'll be showing you guys how to create a cube here in Illustrator using the polygon tool now I'll show you quite a few ways of creating cubes using different tools here in Illustrator now if you haven't seen those videos feel free to check them out the links are in the description below now I'm going to start off by creating my new document I'll just press command N for PC users is control N and my width and height are set to four inches now I'm happy with that you can change your settings to whatever you like and I'm going to click OK once that's done I want to be sure that my smart guides are activated now if you know they aren't you can simply press command U or control U or you can simply just go up to view and click on smart guides if you don't see this check mark there now once that's done you want to grab your polygon tool and I'll start off by creating a shape and I'm going to do so while holding my shift button to make sure that is pretty even now my shape has a feel of white so be very careful because if it has a feel you really are you really won't be able to see what it is you're doing so simply go up to your fill and select none now I want to rotate this shape 90 degrees and to do so I'll simply go up to object transform rotate and my angle is already set to 90 and as you can see it's been applied to my shape so I'm going to click OK and now I want to duplicate this shape so I'll simply hold down my option key or alt key for PC users and I'm going to click and just bring my duplicate up hold down your shift button while doing so so it doesn't move out of place and you see here where you get this T forming where it intersects that's where you want to drop your duplicate and that is why I want it to have my smart guides uh, activated because it makes things much easier so I'm just going to release my mouse button here and that's exactly where I wanted it to fall so now I'm going to grab my direct selection tool here or you can press A on your keyboard and I'm going to select my shapes now I want to bring up my pathfinder options which I'll do by clicking this two square icon here and my Pathfinder options are available. Now, if your Pathfinder is not located within your workspace, simply go up to Window and select Pathfinder here. Once that's done, you want to select Divide, which is the first icon you'll see here at the bottom listing. And I'm going to click on that. So this is basically going to separate this part, this part, and this part of our two shapes. And now technically we have three. So I'm going to select this top area because we really don't need it anymore. And I'm going to delete it. And now you see we have what looks to be a cube forming. We just need to add another separation line here. So I'm going to grab my line segment tool and bring my cursor down to the middle anchor point at the bottom. And I'm going to click, hold down my shift key, and just scroll up to the middle here, the middle of this top square. And I'm sure you guys are wondering why I did that. Now the reason why is so that you can change each section of your cube to a different color without doing this your cube can only be one color so this is the main reason why we do so and I'm going to grab my direct selection tool once again and I'm going to simply hold down my shift button while clicking the bottom area of my cube and I'm going to select divide here in our pathfinder options once again and as you can see, the top extra of that line has been deleted. Now you can simply select each part of your uh, cube here and go over to your fill box here and double click to bring up your color picker and just pick whatever colors you want to add to your cube. 
me personally, I'm a web student, so I'm going to make an RGB cube, basically a red, green, and blue cube. And there we have it. We have what looks to be a cube, and you can simply uh, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever have you. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys for the next A Thousand Ways tutorial.